All right, in our health edge tonight, changes at Chipotle, the Mexican restaurant tweaking some of its cooking methods after yet another E. coli outbreak this week. Uh, Chipotle now saying onions will be dipped in boiling water to kill germs before they're chopped. Raw chicken will be marinated in resealable plastic bags instead of bowls. And cilantro will be added to cooked rice so the heat gets rid of microbes. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now. And I mean, another problem with Chipotle. I mean, should we be worried? I mean, I know they've lost business, but. Yeah, here's the thing. And until we know more about it, I think people should, should hold judgment. I would just probably wait. And, and, and if you could have an alternative, I'd go to an alternative. But at least Chipotle is being proactive and saying, what can we do? Here's, here's the thing, though. You know, they, their slogan has been cooking fresh and not using frozen ingredients. So that puts them at risk because they're using fresh mm -hmm. poultry and fresh, you know, ingredients. So that can actually put you at risk. What what people like, like me, about them is what's putting, put, putting them at risk. So I don't think we should go worry and never go back again. But until the investigations come back with a second outbreak, we may look at alternatives, what I would recommend. I happen to love Chipotle as well. And you do feel like they're cooking at home. They're back there with gloves on and doing right. what they have to do. But... And they're taking some precautions, okay. thank goodness. Yeah. And for, for those who are wa watching, so how would you know if you have E. coli? E. coli is, a, is an infection that can affect your gut. So you can have nausea, abdominal cramping, diarrhea, which is usually watery but can turn into blood, and fevers. If you have any of those symptoms, see your doctor. Now, most people do okay, but there's a particular uh, type of E. coli that can give you some problems. So just watch out for this, especially if you've eaten at, you know, not just Chipotle, but any restaurant with poultry. Just be, be careful. Okay. Now, what can we do? I mean, if we're worried about E. coli and we're we're worried about going into restaurants. What can we do? And we talk about this all the time. And we talk about this. I think the last time we were together is that wash your hands, people. You know, people think they're just cleanest as can be. You know, yeah. you have to remember <laughs> the stuff in your hands can infect other people, including yourself. So wash yourself. Practice meticulous personal hygiene. Wash every every time you go to the bathroom. Also, make sure when you're cooking, don't cr cross contaminate. All both of you know, and I know too. When you're cutting chicken, don't sit there and, and cook something else and, and and mix mix them together because you can you know really pass the infection. Sanitize fruits and vegetables. Also, make sure you cook food thoroughly. So if you're somewhere in the food industry, you know it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You should for poultry. But if you're home, you know, you know, cook your food well and keep it warm. So those simple practices can really help. But really, people, I cannot say how many infections we can prevent by, guess what, just washing your hands. If you can do one thing for us this holiday season and throughout the year, just wash your hands, please. Good, good advice. Yeah, do we think that's what it is, Doc? Maybe a word You know, we don't know. Like it's, it's, we it's don't really, know. People okay. are scratching their heads because yeah. they can't understand why there's a Natural. second outbreak. But what's happening <laughs> is that they're doing something, and you could, we, we talked about yeah. in the beginning of the, uh, of the segment, they're doing something to prevent it, and I'm hoping that'll be enough because I'd love restaurants like Chipotle yes. to continue to have fresh ingredients. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Doc. Well, Merry Christmas to both of you. Merry yes. Christmas to you and your family. Thank, thank you, Doctor. If you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter, email. We'll get it right to him. And still to come.